Welcome to jobskillshare.com. Today is a great day for us. We are putting our final project for help desk support entry level to specialist course. And if you guys go to the forum like I did, click on certification projects. And I am just amazed by the response from people. I mean, it's just great. So many people are um, doing the projects and doing it correctly. Um, and hopefully it's helping you guys because that's the main thing that I uh, really uh, focus on that it's just grab that skill grab that the knowledge uh, or from anyone um, and then use it so before we start on final project I'm just gonna go quickly or the projects um, so the first project was basically we wanted you guys to write some kind of article like you know how did you came to jobskillshare.com from where and how is it different and a lot of people responded and you can see so many people uh, did respond to that project great stuff so thank you for that project two and it gets harder and harder uh, was about the virtualization and then you guys put a nice uh, uh, screenshots over there that's also going great uh, project three was about documentation and I don't see a lot of uh, responses but hopefully we will get people because that's I know when I was creating this project I knew it's going to be annoying one because documentation nobody likes it but that is also one of the main part of help desk and uh, we need to fill this and a lot of people have still opportunity to do because once it get full then uh, it will be really hard for a learner to kind of fill these because they, somebody will, will already have covered some of the sections in here. So hopefully we will get on that. Project 4. So Project 4 was about the group policy and uh, restriction for software. Tony did a great job. Um, we had to kind of uh, remove the solution so people can figure on their own. And great stuff. So. After that, we did project five, which was, so project five was about the answer one, which nobody did it yet because I knew it's going to be something, it will take time. Getting a best answer online on answers.microsoft.com, it won't be an easy task, but once you get that best answer, I'm pretty sure you're gonna love that because that is a different level. Um, project six, so project six was about, um, uh, screenshot on Spiceworks scan, which is great. Um, you guys need to know that uh, about this technology of scanning and doing inventories and stuff like that. It's very helpful. It makes your job really easy. Project seven was about Desktop Central eight. Mean doing everything from uh, getting everything together uh, and then you know using some patch management from one software like doing everything from one software it kind of like you know make your skills a little bit advanced like you know if you're doing a little bit of administration windows administration and you have uh, jobs like that it will help you now we are in the final project so the final project is remember when we did the agreement uh, in the beginning of this course that any videos will be shared with jobskillshare.com is going to become a property of jobskillshare.com so we can help other users so there's two things that can benefit this this project is 25 percent so it will definitely help you the whole platform new users and new users in future so many uh, people are gonna come and they're coming right now uh, let me tell you guys there's 6,000 people right now in this platform 6,000 all over so um, that's a great thing and now we need to keep it keep up and kind of like make this thing grow so this project is going to be uh, the video based one which I which I kind of put that in uh, the first thing in, in our agreement and people who sign that agreement that say okay we are going to do that or if you can do it then uh, it's up to you but this has to be done so to do that first thing you need to do is you need to go to documents of this course so go to the documents and then click on final project files okay and here's what you need camp studio portable mean this is a portable software that you will download and then click on open 
and it will download right here extract that file click next next and then show the extracted files and this is where it is you can copy it to your desktop if you want to I will do that right now just to kind of show so I'm gonna copy it right here this is the extracted folder and now I have portable camp studio here so I'll double click on that and now I, ha I can record my screen and this is what we are going to do in this project that you guys are gonna have to make a video meaning it is same as the documentation one like if I go back to this project right here and if you go to the learning path not sorry not the learning path let's go back go to the form and we did the project right here which was a certification project and it was number three I believe yeah so now you see we have to put documentation for this is a learning path of our course which is documentation so for example Thomas he put a documentation and then it's linked over here so what you're gonna do with the camp studio portable the way to use this there's two ways that I ask my learners that you guys can do you guys can do video audio like me you can go here click the region right here go to option and click on record audio from your microphone okay and then click on this and then grab any part of your screen what you want to share with with us so once you do that and leave this it's going to start recording right now or the second way is if you don't want to record your screen you can just go to start and do the not notepad and then tell us what you're trying to do a lot of videos are like that you just type it and then you do it then you type again and you do something else kind of step by step it has to be at least five minutes long and it has to cover some part of our learning path which is if you go to the course I'm gonna go back in here which is our course right here and then you go all the way down to the learning path and I'm going to open the learning path with projects one and your video needs to cover something in this learning path any section and you and you will specify here that jobskillshare.com part of section then you specify the section put the section and I will put that video under that section now there's two ways you can do it you can send me any method you can use a Google Drive to put your video and give me the link and I will download it you can use SkyDrive you can use any way you'll have to find out how are you going to share this video with me now I'll tell you one thing what you're gonna learn from this video definitely first it's definitely helping you finding things and then it will basically make it a video that one thing second thing is going to help our course grow more because now people are uh, I can I can do so much I mean I cannot think from all angles so you might be thinking some something else or something else needs to be done different way so you can share that with me and this course is going to grow grow and it help out so much and help us to at the same time everybody's getting help third thing what you're gonna basically learn from this video is how to share big files over the internet because every company have vendors users that you will have to deal with them they will be sending these kind of files or you will be sending them these kind of files and then you need to find out ways now one way that company would do is to uh, provide a FTP account for you so that means you have a FTP server on your uh, system and then you will basically sh send that information to a user and then you will they will put a username and password but I will tell you something about FTP that not not a lot of normal users like me like a home user they don't like FTP because you have to write a lot of instructions to them so they prefer Dropbox kind of thing so anything that you can come across with to share this video with me you'll have to do that I need this video and like I said we did the agreement once this video is my one once I get this video it's gonna be jobs to share property and no uh, user can say that oh remove it because it, the problem is that somebody said remove this video and then 
this course grown a bit and people are like you know used to the the whole sections and then somebody said remove the video and if I remove it then it kind of mess up the whole course so this is why we have the agreement you if you say that you, you agree with it then make a video that uh, in future you don't want to remove it so if you're talking then yeah keep that in mind you can't remove this if you're doing text over here you can't remove this but think about the benefits it's helping a lot of people outside it's helping the platform it, it'll help you when you do sharing these all these big files with other people you will know so so many other ways that uh, will definitely help you with that kind of solution so it's not only a project that will just oh, make a video and you're done it's a project that can benefit more than there's no uh, negative uh, points of it it's a project that has a lot of positive positive points and I know people will understand that so good luck with this project and once you're done you can click on this stop sign right here and now you can save your video so I'm going to say okay you put it on somewhere like desktop and say my final project final project and then put your name here so I know who you are from a from a, and so I can match your learner ID with this and then I'm gonna give you the score and click on save so what's gonna happen is your audio is going to get saved if you did a text it's going to be a little quicker um, and then once you save it like I said you can share with me on your Dropbox you can share it on Google Drive you can share your on a SkyDrive you can share whatever you whatever you want to share with I'll need to have need to have access and download that video so hopefully uh, if you guys don't know anything about the Dropbox or anything like that, then hopefully you will learn it because you have to go online and kind of find out how can you share this video with me. And that will be a nice, good thing because you're going to learn more then. If you already know, then you're good to go. Start making the video. It's a portable um, software. It's free, open source. Go ahead and use it. Maybe one day you will make your own course and then you come back to jobskillshare.com and become a trainer and uh, train us. I would love to uh, see users um, coming here and then training us and because I want to learn more too. So hopefully if I said anything bad or anything stupid that didn't make any sense, I apologize right now. And uh, if you guys think that I need to fix something in the course, please don't sh don't stay back. Come tell me what I need to fix in here. Um, so thank you for uh, being there being patient with me i know my english suck but i'll get better <laughs> all right people take care and i'll see you guys in a different course good luck bye bye